John Berner, a leader in Troop 19 in Normal, Illinois. Hello, my name is Ashish, and um, I'm from Troop 19 in Normal, Illinois. I'm Josh DeKirskater, an Eagle Scout from Troop 912 in Bloomington. Hi there, my name is Ben Baumgartner. I'm an Eagle Scout from Troop 19, and I've been involved in scouting for about seven years now. Hello, my name is Jonathan, and I became an Eagle Scout out of Troop 920 in Bloomington. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm David. Uh, and we're both in Troop 19. Hey, my name is Parker Hayes. I was in scouting for 10 years from second grade until my senior year of high school. Hello, my name is Doug. I'm a lifelong scouter, and my boys are both in the scouting movement. Hi, everybody. My name is Haley Hendricks, and I'm part of Troop 8888. Troop 8888 is an all female troop based out of Normal, Illinois. I began scouting when I was eight years old when I joined Cub Scouts. I joined Boy Scouts in 1949. I like scouting because of the experiences you get to do while you're in Scouts. I've gone to many places in Scouts, and I wouldn't, I would have never gone to these places if I uh, have not done Scouts. For me, scouting has been, meant a lot to me. I've been able to travel the world and see places that I probably never would have. We went to Cache Lake, Canada, which is a one-week camp up in Cache Lake, and it's given us multiple opportunities such as kayaking, canoeing, motorboating, fishing, and stand-up paddleboarding, and much, much more. Our highs come from, literally, climbing peaks. In my experience, I had such a good connection with nature, you know, through hiking and camping. And I enjoyed many years of summer camp in Wisconsin and Michigan. And you also get to go to more beautiful places by your home that you wouldn't even know have existed if you hadn't been in Scouts. Um, besides all the fun camping trips I went on and things of that nature, uh, my favorite thing about Scouting was all the friends that I got in contact with and met through Boy Scouts. Me personally, I've met lots of people that I'm still friends with today. And I, um, I really respect them because we have that mutual thing of we are a scout. And you know, the usual stereotype is that, you know, Boy Scouts are they're all peppy and they go sell popcorn. Um, but Boy Scouts is uh, way more than that. Um, I mean, it's a lot of life skills that I don't think I would have ever known if I never um, joined as a Boy Scout. I really enjoy scouting in Troop 19 especially because I've learned so many things, so many life skills that I never learned at school and I'm really grateful for that. You learn a lot more life experiences, you learn a lot more things with leadership and it really helps you in the long haul. Our scouts learn perseverance, leadership, and drive. The most important thing I learned was about the importance of discipline and hard work when you want to get things done. By accomplishing so many smaller requirements for each rank, you get a sense of achievement because it feels like you're accomplishing a lot. Eventually, this sense of achievement will be intrinsic, meaning that you are not working towards just the rank, you're working towards the personal satisfaction of having accomplished another task. Their life changed because of things that they were able to do and I was able to help them do. These skills and the points of the Scout Law carry forward as a Scout becomes an adult. Those weren't just words that I said, they became part of who I am, became part of my character. One of the key values that I really took away from Scouting is just about being a good person. If you really look at the Scout Oath and the Scout Law, everything within it just has to do with being a good human being in the world that we live in and to those around you. Scouting, having a positive mental attitude, that helped out a lot. Scouting in general has taught me the courage of stepping into a new obstacle, utilizing my surroundings, my resources. I wasn't working just for the rank or for the feeling of ticking off another box from my book, but I was working for the satisfaction of doing one more thing that I could say that I had finally completed. Allow that adventure to take you to new places that you never thought possible. So good luck, you can do it. No matter where you are, far away or in your backyard, there's always an adventure waiting for you. And the memories will last a lifetime. Hi, Joseph here. Thank you so much for watching Scout Smarts over the last couple of weeks. These videos have been a lot of fun and a lot of work to make and I really hope that you've enjoyed them. But there's no way that I could have made all of these by myself. 
First and foremost, I want to give a huge thank you to the Boys and Girls Club for giving me the necessary resources, information, and a space to put these videos up. Secondly, I want to give another huge thanks to the scouts and adults who spent a lot of time helping me make these videos, both behind and in front of the camera. If you've watched these videos over the last couple of weeks and become more interested in joining scouting, perhaps, I would really encourage you to spend some time looking into these organizations in the area that you live in. There's a lot of good people and a lot of good things that you can find. But even if you're not interested, I hope that you've learned something by watching these videos that you can remember and use throughout your life. Because when it comes down to it, it's not so important that you join scouts. It is important that you join something that's bigger than yourself, that forces you to think about the well-being of yourself and others and work towards actively creating a better world for everybody. As the young people of the world, you have the unique ability to make that happen and to create a better life for yourself and others. So go out there and do what makes you, your, uh, your friends and family, other people in the world a better place to live in. And for the last time, thanks for watching.